Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves somewhere out in Arizona with Christopher Ruff, a.k.a. Direct D. And he is a bad mamma jamma. Well, at least in his own head, anyway. But anyway, I mean, he finds himself in trouble with the law once again and facing some possible hard time, and he doesn't want to do that. He doesn't want to go back to prison. Well, he's already serving, served seven years in prison. That I mean, he's pretty much a hardened criminal, and he's very much proud of that fact. But still, he doesn't want to go back, so he's going to flee to Tucson, he says, and he dares the cops to follow him there. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy this moron taunting the police officers, which I'm sure will come back to bite him in their rear end, considering there was enough people, including myself, that downloaded this video before he removed it off there, so it is up forever for posperity on YouTube and I'm sure the officers have a copy of this video by now so too bad for him we got a bunch of cowards in Arizona is the problem is what I'm understanding and I'll openly say that on my live stream to 687 people and I'm gonna leave this up today so everybody that's on my channel can watch it because I'm just tired, dude. I'm tired of being the only one that actually gives it about what I'm doing. And then all the other channels, the media corporations, everybody does. I'm over it. I'm tired of dealing with crybaby that, you know, going, oh, I can't get to do 30 days. I did seven years in prison, and anytime you guys whine about having to go to court, I just think it's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, we know your mindset, Christopher. We know that uh, you've done seven years in the slammer, and we know that uh, you don't really care about court. You don't really care about the law. You don't really care about anything but yourself. And therefore, uh, you're willing to do things that, well, aren't really pleasant for other people. Now, if uh, I were to end up in prison myself, I know, given my family's history of us not being a bunch of criminal scumbags like you, my father would definitely disown me. But hey, I can understand that. I mean, as a single parent, it was hard enough as it was, and for him to... Uh, have raised somebody that was a jailbird, that would be devastating to him. Because the goal of parents is to have children that are better than them. And if that's the case, I wonder how bad your parents were. I'm done hanging out with and doing anything with this Arizona crew that ain't in Tucson. Because I'm moving to Tucson. I am moving out of Maricopa County. You're going to have to involve another county to come and get me, suckers. That's right. I'm not going to court on the 6th. I'm not going to court on the 6th. I'm moving out of the county. They're misdemeanors. You're going to have to involve another county to come and get me. I'll be in Tucson. That's Pima County. Let's see if the sheriffs in Pima County wants to uh, involve themselves in Maricopa County's drama. Then we just make it even bigger, right? That's the goal. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Well, let's see. Yeah, let's see if it actually works out for you. But here's the thing. Uh, your stupidity has already gotten you arrested and convicted on numerous occasions. So you're not exactly the sharpest knife in the drawer. And so I'm willing to bet that they'll call your bluff and you will fold like a paper tiger. So I will be in Tucson, Arizona, in Pima County. That's where I'm moving to. I'm not going to court. Uh, all you clowns that say, oh, you're going to go to jail. I'm not going to jail, sucker, because I ain't going. I'm not turning myself in. I'm not agreeing to be on probation. The Nazis, I'll be in Tucson. What's up? Not going to court. I'm not surrendering myself. I'm not acquiescing to your... And let's include more jurisdictions to make it even worse. Let's include more jurisdictions. It's already Maricopa County. It's, it's, we're centralized in Maricopa County, but now I'm going to move to P Pima County. 
We'll see if the Tucson police and the Pima County Sheriff's want You know, dude, uh, you really should never underestimate your enemies. For those who do often end up being defeated by them. So, what you need to do is stop acting like a damn jackass, thinking that you know better than everybody else, and actually do some planning to get yourself out of this situation that you put yourself into, you dumbass. Because, yeah, just moving from one county to another might not be enough in this case, dude. But you know what? Just go ahead and do what you want, uh, and let's uh, just laugh at you fail. It wasn't a joke either. There is a friend of mine that is getting his reciprocity in Arizona. If you guys don't know what that is, that's a lawyer that went through the Supreme Court, did his fingerprints, references, bar certification, uh, bar disciplinary record, and is going to be a certified attorney in the state of Arizona. So when that happens, I will surely be getting arrested and let all this play out so we can go to court with a lawyer. But basically that's what's going on. If uh, any of those cop watchers are watching my channel right now, or you watch this later. You know, I tell you to get a job, but uh, I really think that the only job you could get would be this one right here. And I think Loke Dog uh, deserves it more. Uh, no, wait a minute. Uh, you probably be better w with it because you know, uh, if something happens, we need still need Loke Dog. He's funny. Congratulations, you got yourself a job. Right on, huh? I will see Bill set. Don't worry. They won't be necessary. Hey, man, how you work this radio? One more time! Somebody left a comment on here about four Mesa cops that like to talk about me and how they wish that they could catch me off duty and then they would do something, shoot me and then take me to some burying grounds. I got some news for you, dumbass. Think that I'm gonna cut your head off if you try to do anything to me. Just keep that in mind. You may not survive. You think you're badass, but you just may not survive. All you know is Christopher Ruff, the convicted felon. That's all you know. You may not survive. I tell you right now, any of you cops watching, you think you're going to put me? I'm going to smoke you before you even get a chance to do it. Better hope that you're doing what you're doing legally, because if you're not, I'm not playing no more games with you. Watch. Yeah, dude, not exactly the brightest thing you can do. I mean, threatening the cops like that. I mean, they're going to be coming after you now. I mean, from what I understand, uh, yeah, you're done. You are so done. And they will let you know it very soon. Threatening judges, threatening law enforcement officers, threatening senators congressmen or whatever from the, I mean that is just sheer stupidity right there I mean the world is about to come crashing down on you and it's gonna come crashing down hard and you're gonna look back back at this and I'm sure you're not gonna regret one bit of it because you're not that kind of person but hey if you want to end up back in prison that's your choice I mean, no skin off my back. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Well, at least I hope you did anyway. I mean, it's sure to piss a lot of people off. But I hope you did anyway. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.